and I'm going to be talking about bees. It's no secret that bees are really good for the environment. They help maintain plant diversity while widening the ecosystem and providing food security for us while also providing plant stability. Unfortunately, it is a well-known fact that bees are in the decline right now mainly because of habitat loss because of urbanization, but also because of pesticides, climate change, and pathogens. In fact, 59% of honeybee populations have decreased from 1947 to 2005, while there's been a 300% increase in dependence of agricultural crops on pollinators. And almost 75% of agricultural crops depend on pollinators, Well, 80% of wild plants also depend on pollinators. Which means if the pollinators vanish, those plants will probably be in the decline as well. However, something I want to focus on today is pathogen spillover and RNA diseases, mainly because I do my research on them and I find them really fascinating. So the three most common and prevalent RNA diseases in bee populations are black queen cell virus, deformed wing virus, and saccharide virus. RNA diseases are especially harmful because they can adapt quite quickly to new host bee communities because they have a fast and high mutation rate. Honeybee populations demonstrated this because they were brought in to the United States because honeybees aren't local and they wrecked havoc on the native bee populations because the native bees didn't have any resistance to these RNA diseases and therefore it spilled over and was very destructive on those communities. So there's two types of transmissions. There's direct and indirect transmission. Direct is usually sexual transmission and it is in within the same bee community. Well indirect can be fecal or foodborne and is usually when another bee, uh, when a bee lands on a flower and maybe defecates, then another bee lands on that flower in the defecation and then flies off and gets infected because of this. And this happens between bee species. And finally, managed bees can also be a really big proponent in spillovers because managed bees have higher rates of disease uh, inside those communities just because they're very concentrated and very close together um, and there's lots of bees in those communities. So when a managed bee escapes, which happens quite frequently unfortunately, and they go into non-commercial plants and start pollinating and foraging on them, when a wild bee forages on those same plants, it can uh, become infected with those diseases. The sad fact is that bee disease hotspots are understudied and flowers could be a really big one and there should be more research that's concerning them to see how we could maybe reduce this. So yeah, RNA diseases are a part of my research and I'm really passionate about it and I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.